Hey, welcome back to SV Ramble on and thanks again for coming back. Today we're talking about uh, shore power and mainly shore power adapters for onboard generators. We carry a Honda 2000 little suitcase with us. Uh, we also have a smart plug shore power cord, but in order to use the Honda, I had to make an adapter that goes to like a three prong twist lock for the end of our 50 foot shore power cord. So what I did was pick up a uh, just a new end that's the uh, the inlet that plugs into the boat. I am going to install that on a short length of cable that goes to the three prong uh, power outlet on the Honda 2000. Yeah, so the main reason I want to make this is because it's one, it's smaller and more portable and two, uh, we don't have to carry our shore power cord with us all the time. We can, if we head out for the weekend, we can leave our shore power cord on the dock along with our water supply hose. The kit comes in a little blister pack. It's uh, real simple to put together. Yeah, so basically what you do, I've already installed this end. This is the end uh, that used to be on this. This was our 30 amp twist lock and it goes to the other end of the shore power cord, the, the far end, and this plugs in up here by the cockpit well. This is pretty basic stuff. I've already installed this. Uh, if you'd like to kind of see what it looks like inside and how to do this, you can go back and watch the video where Jenny fixed our reverse polarity issue. So this thing, it comes with instructions. It's got a little feeder thing. You insert this in here with some dish soap and slide the cord up in. To put this thing together, you're going to need obviously cable strippers. You're going to need wire cutters. And if you're using big cable like this, this is number 10 wire. These big sh bypass shears are good for cutting large diameter cable like this. Uh, smart plug instructions say you got to strip back an inch and a quarter of the jacket and then you've got to strip off a half an inch of each wire of the insulation on the wire. All the terminals are color coded, white, black, and green, so putting the wire together is pretty much a no-brainer. So once you've stripped off your half an inch off of each of the wires, they give you this little plastic deal right here. And this is a feeder that helps feed this wire up into this black thing. And then you gotta get it soapy. Uh, okay. Well, it's coming through. Alright, so get the wire through. Take the comb thing off. The next thing I wanna do, this is Antioxide, anti it's uh, yeah, no oxide. Uh, it's just it's a wire, it's an anti -cor or a corrosion inhibitor. Antioxidant, those are vitamins you take, aren't they? So, this thing comes with a hex key, and these are all uh, you have to tighten this thing, and apparently, they put some like thread locker on the threads to keep it from walking out. There's uh, two, the two short screws are for clamping this thing together the, for the strain relief on the plug. The two screws that clamp the strain relief together. Then you just slide everything in. Then you got three screws in here, three screws installed, two pieces put together. Last thing to do, there is a watertight seal. Keeps water out of the electrical plug when it's plugged in. Pop it in here. You have to pop open the locking ears, push the side buttons here. So there, there you go. Basically the end of a smart plug installed on whatever cable you want to supply shore power, whether it's plugged into a Honda generator or whether you're cutting off an old Marine Co or something like that and you want to install a smart plug outlet and receptacle in the side of your boat. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, found something interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let us know down below if you have any questions or comments. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at SV Ramble On. And our website is svrambleon.com.